Prime Minister Shastri, Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri gave the slogan of Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. Prime Minister Vajpayee, Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, made that Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan. Prime Minister Modi has furthered that to Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan and Jai Anusandan. As innovation is the foundation of development. For, for our tech savvy youth, for our tech savvy youth, this will be a golden era. A corpus of one lakh crore rupees will be established with 50 year interest free loan provided. The corpus will provide long term financing or refinancing with long tenors and low and or nil I repeat that sentence the corpus will provide long term financing or refinancing with long tenors and low or nil interest rates this will encourage this will encourage the private sector to scale up research and innovation significantly in sunrise domains we need to have programs that combine the powers of our youth and technology. A new scheme will be launched for strengthening deep tech technologies for defense purposes and expediting Atmanirbharta. Infrastructure development. Building on the massive tripling of the capital expenditure outlay in the past four years, resulting in huge multiplier impact on economic growth and em employment creation, the outlay for the next year is being increased by 11.1% to 11 lakh 11,111 crore rupees. This would be 3.4% of our GDP. Railways. Three major economic corrid railway corridor programs will be implemented. These are energy, mineral and cement corridor, number two, port connectivity corridors, and number three, high traffic density corridors. The projects have been identified under the PM Gati Shakti for enabling multimodal connectivity. They will improve logistics efficiency and reduce cost. The resultant decongestion of the high traffic corridors will also help in improving operations of passenger trains, resulting in safety and higher travel speed for passengers. Together with dedicated freight corridors, these three economic corridor programs will accelerate our GDP growth and reduce logistic costs. Forty thousand normal rail bogies will be converted to Vande Bharat standards to enhance safety, convenience and comfort of passengers. Aviation sector. The aviation sector has been galvanized in the past ten years. Number of airports have doubled to 149. Rollout of air connectivity to Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities under Wudan scheme has been widespread. 517 new routes are carrying 1.3 crore passengers. Indian carriers, Indian carriers have proactively placed orders for over 1,000 new aircrafts. Expansion of existing airports and development of new airports will continue expeditiously. Metro and Namo Bharat. We have a fast expanding middle class and rapid urbanization is taking place. Metro Rail and Namo Bharat can be the catalyst for the required urban transformation. 
expansion of these systems will be supported in large cities focusing on transit-oriented development. Green energy, towards meeting our commitment for net zero by 2070, the following measures will be taken. Viability gap funding will be provided for harnessing offshore wind energy, for harnessing offshore wind energy potential for initial capacity of one gigawatt. Capacity of one gigawatt. Coal gasification and liquefaction capacity of 100 metric tons will be set up by 2030. This will also help in reducing imports of natural gas, methanol, and ammonia. Phased mandatory blending of compressed biogas in compressed natural gas for transport and piped natural gas for domestic purposes will be mandated. Financial assistance will be provided for procurement of biomass aggregation machinery to support collection. Electric vehicle ecosystem. Our government will expand this and strengthen the e-vehicle ecosystem by supporting manufacturing and charging infrastructure, greater adoption of e-buses for public transport networks will be encouraged through payment security mechanism. Biomanufacturing and biofoundry. For promoting green growth, a new scheme of biomanufacturing and biofoundry will be launched. This will provide environment-friendly alternatives such as biodegradable polymers, bioplastics, biopharmaceuticals, and bioagri inputs. This scheme will also help in transforming today's consumptive manufacturing paradigm to the one based on regenerative principles. Blue Economy 2.0. For promoting climate resilient activities for Blue Economy 2.0, a scheme for restoration and adaptation measures and coastal aquaculture and mariculture with integrated and multi-sectoral approach will be launched. <laughs>